So let's spend a few minutes here drawing out some of the major components that make up an OpenStack environment. So we're just going to draw on the screen here, Horizon. We're going to talk about all these in more detail. Uh, the Horizon dashboard, of course. Uh, Cinder, which is a storage, block storage, remember? Cinder's block storage, basically used to the VM. We're going to go into more detail around each one of these again. Um, and then, of course, you have Neutron, which is your network environment. So let's go ahead and type in network there. And so hopefully this will help you understand a little more about the environment. Nova, which is essentially the orchestrator that's going to be used within the environment. And then you have, uh, let's see here, let's put in Celometer. This is your billing um, application, right? Shows utilization within the OpenStack environment. So you can do billing, whether you do it external or internal. Then you have Glance, which is your open um, excuse me, your imaging uh, service, right? Software that does imaging within the environment. Uh, let me see here. What else do we want to add? Swift, of course. We have to have the object storage infrastructure, usually from the VM. And then let's round this off with Keystone, which is going to be your security and authentication type of program. So let's go ahead and place these up here. And then we're going to draw some lines here to kind of help us understand where and how these fit into what would be a reference architecture for OpenStack. So this is a good example of a reference architecture that uses, um, uses OpenStack. So we typed in VM there because, of course, the reference architecture has to have the virtual machine. And typically, the virtual machine is a KVM uh, machine. Um, you can use open source, and, and uh, there are other versions of KVM available from vendors. So... Uh, this is going to kind of be our core. Uh, let me see here if this looks right. Yeah, th this looks pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and start. We'll color in this, make them a little bit bigger there. Um, just so we know that really this is about serving the virtual machine. And let's jump in. Let's draw some lines for Horizon. So Horizon uh, impacts everything. Horizon is essentially a graphical interface uh, used to, I don't know, access, provision, and automate cloud resources. And you see I'm drawing lines to Nova and Glance and Swift down to Keystone. So this is kind of the manager. Let's draw one up there for Neutron as well. This is the manager of the environment, Horizon. Now, there's automated tools that do this as well, but this is kind of the main purpose of what Horizon is providing. And of course, we well, can't forget Cinder down there as well. So it's going to help us manage those environments. So let's move to the network portion, which is Neutron. Now, Neutron, let's go ahead and draw a line out for Neutron. Oops, wrong color. So let's go ahead and draw a color in that box there. And then we're going to draw a line for Neutron that allows us to manage that virtual machine or communicate with that virtual machine. Neutron is going to be that network backbone uh, within our environment. We're going to also talk and communicate from Neutron to um, Nova. Well, let's just go into Nova actually right now, and then we'll come back to that. So Nova is the orchestrator part of um, the OpenStack environment. So it's it's basically orchestrating everything within the environment, provisioning, deprovisioning. Hey, you want this type of compute and this type of storage? Nova is kind of that front end uh, that we're going to use in order to accomplish that. So let's draw a line definitely into the virtual machine there because... Uh, it's going to help provision and make those things available to us. But remember, we're going to have to pull that storage of that virtual machine from somewhere within this reference architecture. So that's where Cinder comes to play. Cinder is a block storage device that allows us to access our block storage, and those images can actually sit and be run from the Cinder environment. But Cinder also uses... Um, ob object storage, which is called Swift, to dump its and back up its storage and the images over. So you notice there's one line going from Cinder to the virtual machine and another line going into um, Swift itself. So Swift allows us to back up that information. And there's another video that talks about the function of these lines, kind of a part two of this video. All right, so let's look at Glance. Glance is our imaging server. And he manages the images that are being prepared for that virtual machine. So we're going to need to, to access the virtual machine, of course. And then, of course, we're going to need to also be able to go down to, to uh, Cinder 
excuse me, uh, to Swift over there uh, to access our object storage. Keystone is our authentication uh, model. So it's gonna provide for us some of those security and authentication. So it's gonna have hooks into many of the software components within your OpenStack environment, Glance and Swift as we're drawing out, to Celimeter, which we're gonna talk about here in just a moment, uh, back into Nova, of course, Neutron, and of course, into Cinder itself. So these are kind of the security components and authentication, right? We want to make sure that when we're traveling around this environment, let's clean this up a little bit, uh, as we're traveling around this environment, that everything is secure, we have secure access to all the major components within the OpenStack framework. Now, Celometer is something that we can use to um, manage our utilization within the environment and do billing. And so it's a billing component, but for some organizations, billing may not be as important, but you wanna know what your utilization is. So we're drawing in hooks, of course, to Cinder and Neutron into Nova. We wanna know when things are spun up and what resources they're using. Of course, we're gonna use Glance, we're gonna have a hook in there, and also into Swift so that we can tell what it is uh, that we're using within the environment itself. Because we, we need to be able to monitor these things so that we can do accurate billing. So let's clean that up a little bit. And as we clean up the screen a little bit for the final image, let's just summarize. So here we've placed, remember OpenStack is a framework. It is a framework that provides compute and storage. So you might ask yourself, well, geez, that sounds a lot like cloud. Well, it is, right? It's an automated infrastructure, a software defined infrastructure. We set policies to do orchestration. We set policies to do virtualization and automation. All of that can be done, no surprise, within the OpenStack framework. And so we have all of these components, and this is one reference architecture that we've drawn out here. Uh, there are many, many components that can add value to an OpenStack framework. We've just drawn out one to kind of keep it simple so that you understand kind of what the major impact is and where these major points are, and you can look for others as well. One last thing we did not mention was the purpose of Swift. Swift is our object storage. So let's go ahead and, and highlight that over there on the right-hand side. This is our object storage component. It's gonna allow us to talk and create object storage.